What ignites my passion as a chef is eating something new for the very first time. The joy one feels when they take a spoonful of something that they've never tasted before. That's the feeling that uh, I like to have and that's the feeling I want my guests to have as well. I'm Garima Arora, chef and owner of uh, Restaurant Ga in Bangkok. We're not an Indian restaurant, or not in the traditional sense of the term anyway, but we do rely heavily on Indian techniques to create a palette which is completely modern, a tasting menu which is completely modern. One of the main techniques that we draw from India is extracting umami from vegetables. I think that is amazing how Indian techniques lend you to do that, leaving nobody ever missing meat or wanting meat. One of the favorite dishes on our menu today is our jackfruit dish, where we have the entire jackfruit cooked on the grill, seasoned with a little bit of caramelized onions, and then you have all these pickles on the side, which add a little bit to the final bite, followed with the act of eating with your hands, which is something so important to us and brings us closer as a community and brings us closer to our food. I remember in my mother's kitchen, we had 10 different kinds of oils to start cooking with peanut, coconut, sesame. We use the same idea here to use fat to draw flavors from different herbs or vegetables. The flavor of the fat that you start with completely changes your end product. And of course, cooking on fire. That is, a, that I think is a cheat code. Anything you cook on fire will always taste good. Growing up, it was my dad who had a very profound effect on uh, the way we used to eat. He would make it uh, look like it was magic. I looked at cooking as always something that is fun and uh, enjoyable. I mean, Indian cuisine goes back uh, what, thousands of years. It's had an effect on so many countries in this part of the world. So Indian cuisine, no, of course, hasn't changed in three generations. It cannot because it's so steeped in history and it's so steeped in so many reference points. But it's the question that you ask, why, you know, why is it that Indian cuisine developed this way? Why do we put things together the way we do? I think these are the questions that help you, you know, come up with something new and something different. So then when I moved uh, to Bangkok and uh, decided to do Ga, yeah, I don't think there could be a better backdrop than Bangkok. The connection between India and Thailand runs so deep. The people, the language, the food, the mythology, the culture, so deeply connected. This connection between India and Thailand is a natural one, and it is obvious to explore it. Being awarded Elite Vodka Asia's Best Female Chef by my peers and my colleagues, I guess just a big thank you to everybody. I think it's uh, time to look inwards to what we have to offer to the world. As far as Indian cooking is concerned, Indian techniques are concerned, we do have a lot to offer, and I think Indian food can be the future of modern cuisine, if you will. But then again, it's up to us as Indian cooks to do justice to that.